Here you have plastic, 12 by 6, wood, okay, this is the plastic, okay, 12 by 6, and the others, okay. Yes. We'll take the weight later on, okay, how much the gram here, see this is M1 and this is M2. So when he said the plastic M1 mean this, mean this is the plastic M1 and this is the plastic M2, this is the big one, okay. This is the two things. So I will, I will find the plastic, and then wood, and then wood, and plastic, and then wood M2, okay? And the incline surface. So I know the tan theta is what? Right is the coefficient of friction, right? So I will use this idea to make it, and let's see what we'll get. Here, here I said, the normal force, here I said the normal force, right? Here I said the FS maximum, so you see normal force or rise, okay? Mm -hmm. Here the FS maximum or run, mm -hmm. and this is FK or run, this is FK I, do, I take it during the motion, and then I will get mu S and I will get mu K okay. for each time, so just to compare between these things. So. I need to clean the surfaces. Because this is very sensitive experiment. You know this is very difficult. These are now this is a 12, this is 6, okay? This is 12, this is 6, this is 12, this is 6, this is a 3, okay? This is 3. So here he said plastic M1, this is the M1, a 12 by 6 in the plastic, so I'll put it here, in the plastic, okay? Like this, and then increase the angle, see, increase it, increase it, increase it. So I can say this is at this point, maybe this point. Okay, okay. maybe this point. Still, okay, maybe this point is the right. You see, it's difficult. I mean, this is very difficult. At this point? Right? What to do? This is what I get, right? This is the thing. Okay, so as I see here, the height here is 5 cm, right? And here it's about 5 cm also. You cannot see it, but... Okay. So let me check. If you can see it. Sorry for that. Oops. Sorry. can see it, right? Yes. It's 5 centimeters. 5 point something. So let me check it exactly. So this is how much? It's 5... Sorry. Let's say it's 5.3. Okay? So you have rise, it's 5 and you have run, it's 5.3, right? So write it here, please. Write it here. And this, I will write it here. This is the rise, it's 5 centimeter. 
and they run at 5.3 centimeter okay now I'll find FK FK I want this the same thing but I want during the motion so I know in 5 I have the maximum static friction force that's why I expect my kinetic friction force will be less than this right mm -hmm. so I put it here and leave it in motion not here okay here let me push it okay you see this is almost constant velocity right excuse me this is almost constant velocity right no I need more maybe yes this is kinetic friction force I want the kinetic force so I will take it during motion okay so I think this is good right for the kinetic friction force I got this friction so can say this is how much this is this is let's say from this it's 5 10 this is 12.4 12.4 rise it's 5 centimeter sorry 5 centimeter and this is 12.4 centimeter yes it's all five centimeter I will do it here hmm? now I can find the mu s and the mu k right mu s is rise to run run uh, rise to run yes for mu k and for mu s now what I have, I have wooden M1 he wants 12 by 6 so this is the wood one right so I'll put it like this first okay and then getting up slowly up here right what is wood? wood now this is the wood right yes up here so here right this is the this is for the wood how much the wood it's 10 20 20 22.4 now I'll use this and see this is not move it's very difficult right this is not move you see it's move right I mean I can I can use this okay this <laughs> because you know I don't have the same surface all the in the old points okay let's make it here because this is during motion okay no problem I want it in the, in the motion okay because I know in the motion that I have what I have the constant friction force right just I need to know this is in the constant velocity or not you see it the constant velocity so I can say this is this is one this is 20 24.9 24.9 this is the FK 